Hello and welcome to another week on iRacing. We've got Arca. It's late night Arca at Phoenix. And uh, we're the number one, unfortunately. And uh, Phoenix not always my best track. I always kind of feel awkward here. But uh, still feeling halfway decent. Adjusting my volumes. All right. You know, halfway decent. This thing just really wants to snap on you. Uh, on, the, on the cold tires especially. So, requires a lot of delicate touch, that's for sure. Green, green, green. Can't just jam on the throttle. Okay, here comes your first time lap. Requires some focus here. Right there is where it'll want to snap really bad. Especially if you try to exit a little lower. It snaps so bad. I did a four tire slide there, that wasn't great. I'm a little afraid to get on the gas too hard. So, I guess we'll push a little harder this lap. You're in pole. That lap time was 28.6. Hmm. So that was a 5.55, five, five. a couple tenths off of my best. That was a good Best 3 and 4. And what we have, what have we here? Chicken 3, black, 6, and 9. Black. That's pole so far. Alright. I'm glad I pulled it together that second lap there, because the first lap was, I'll be honest, I was being real careful. Because of the aforementioned snap loose that you can get. And I wanted to make sure I at least got a solid lap in. And then, uh, man, it was turns, uh, oh god, what even turn is it? Is it three? I don't, this place confuses me when it comes to the turns. Especially when they start rotating the darn track and putting the finish line somewhere else. Start finish line somewhere else. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> so. Hello. I don't even know, man. But, uh, hey, nice. We're a tenth ups right now. So it would be nice to lead the field, but not. At least we'll be up there. Gonna be taking a patient off the start, probably, just like my first qualifying lap. Because, uh, spinning bad. Spin, no goo. So, we're gonna <laughs> not do the spin thing. And, uh, hopefully, be okay. I got my brake bias all the way back. How I like it. And I've got steering ratio at 12 to 1. Which is a little lower than probably where I should have it. I'm probably going to end up turning the wheel too much. But I really wanted to have it down there for Sorry extra power that. control. Moving the black box around and couldn't see it unless I keyed up. And uh, I just want that extra control of the car. And I think I should be able to uh, keep focus and use my brakes and throttle to get the car rotating rather than, you know, yanking the wheel all over the place. So we should be okay. I'm just going to have to keep uh, keep myself focused on that. Good luck, everybody. Do. Should be gone before too long here. It looked like lots of people who had their, uh, were getting their qualifying laps in. Yeah, we just got 16 and 19 left. Not sure if we're about ready to go or not. We're looking pretty good for this uh, for this pole run. All right. I don't know what I did with uh, the final turn there on that second lap, but it worked. Kind of kept it, not necessarily the low line, but kind of that mid line. Kept uh, some momentum through there. I don't know. I got to do more of that, though. Because that saved that lab, because the first half of that lab wasn't even all that great. So, I was a little worried because there were guys in practice, the open practice ahead of time, talking about how they were seeing guys run 28 ones and all this stuff, which they probably are, you know, in the strength of field races and stuff. Like earlier in the day, they probably were running those. And uh, I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to keep up with that, that's for sure. But for now, I think this uh, race split once, probably. It looked like there was like 30-something people signed up. 
So uh, we're looking good. We're starting on the pole. Let's not spin in front of the field. That would be a nightmare. Let me check again. All my stuff's good. Okay, everything's like how I want it. All right, that means we get to get ourselves a jump, hopefully. Hopefully a decent jump off the start. And uh, hopefully, lots of hopefullys going on here. Hopefully, we can Anyone maintain some pace. Bad luck to be the first person to grid. Maintain some pace and uh, keep the tires happy, too. Just going to try to be smooth. 40 laps here should be long enough for tires to matter in a lap with no cautions. So, in a, in a race with no cautions. Some series you don't get a lap without cautions, but here they say forget about it. 20 car pile up, who cares? Put your foot in it. It's our <laughs> Anybody who matters, we are at a 2.2k strength field. Oh, that's actually interesting. Yeah, I'm looking at that too right now. 2.2. That's not too bad for when I'm racing. Got home on Wednesday. It's our our Tuesday night. It's now Wednesday though, because it's past midnight. So it is pretty late. I'm glad that we got a fair number of people in here. That's not as bad as I thought it might have been. 2.2 could have been worse. We still got the number one, but it'd be all right. Got some people really waiting. This They're gonna start from the pits, I don't know. During the drive. Treat them right and good luck. There you go now. Oh my gosh. They're selling setups to a fixed series yeah, and selling a Twitch stream. <laughs> Lots of advertisement going on in the chat. Oof. I can add my advertise my squeaky chair. Stay behind. The That's what everybody car. wants, right? A squeaky chair. Already wrecking? No, they're not. <laughs> There's no way they're wrecking back there already. I don't believe it. You're fibbing me. This uh, P2 guy, he was really fast in the open practice. He had the fastest lap for a while, and I had to like really focus to try to um, to overtake it. And that's where I got my all-time best. That's usually how I spend my <laughs> practice time, finding the edge so I can walk along it. And that usually involves me having fun trying to get the fast laps, so. though. I think it's going to be a second gear start. Well, Even though it's red down there, I think uh, second gear start. Post inspection setup changes. Alright, happy with that jump. I'll take it. I'm so scared of this exit right now. I way under drove it, but holy cow, when it snaps, it's hard to catch, so. Like I said, I'm just going to try to be smooth here first. Good too. Sorry about that. I got loose. Alright. Use the whole track to help keep this thing wow, steady. Really? Hard to find a uh, breaking point in the current one there. No real obvious, uh, obvious breaking marker. Kind of like looking at the advertisements on the left side is where I'm looking at the moment. But mostly it's just a feel kind of thing, feeling for it. Fastest lap for McDonald, 28.5. Your last lap time was at 28.7. What a 
This guy's right on our bumper. Going a little harder there because was, he was making me a little nervous. That's just me being overly cautious though. Just don't want to get hit from behind and he was pretty close so. That lap was at 28.7. Whew. Really just holding this wheel steady. That was a 28.6. That's your quickest lap in this session. It's a little better to kind of take a higher entry into turn one there. And get the momentum through. Might help uh, keep the darn thing steady, too. Really? No idea if I'm being nice to the tires or not right now. We're gonna find out, though. Lap time was at 28.7. Lap time's pretty consistent. I feel like I'm being pretty, uh. I know I'm being careful, I said, on the exits, but I feel like I'm, like, being aggressive enough that, uh, I'm not ignoring the right rear. Hopefully it's enough to, uh, keep it from just being all on the right front. You've That's the hope. He's right on us, though, right behind us. Making us sweat. Mm, overdrove that pretty bad. At least I was able to get a little bit back on exit. Can't be opening the door like that though. Unless I want him to walk in. No visitors. I'm taking no visitors at the moment. Gonna be though, because <laughs> I feel like I'm not being nice to my tires. So, tires are warmer now. It feels like I can push a little harder on exit, and I think that'll be good for me. So, otherwise, this thing's gonna get too tight. So, gotta adjust to the evolving vehicle. This ner I'm nervous because during practice, whenever it would get sideways, it was very hard to catch. Like I said, I'm normally pretty good at catching a loose race car, but even with 12 to 1, I was having some overcorrection issues. Maybe I just wasn't noticing it getting sideways soon enough. Sure, but uh, I definitely don't want to end up in that situation. Especially in front of the whole field. Well, okay, so far though, we got a little bit of distance behind us, but you might be being nicer to the tires. And I wasn't sure if I was going to race today, because I was pretty tired after work. I just did a couple off-recording uh, off races first, just uh, my normal weekly Formula V and Rookie Mazda and stuff I do just for fun. I just did uh, Formula V. Still, uh, still going to do the Mazda. But uh, I had a great race. Managed to, the, to win the Formula V race. And uh, it was a great race. The guy behind me was very patient. It was at summit point full. And, uh... I'm wide a little bit. Um, it was at summit point full, and then the Formula V draft is huge there. And, uh, the guy... The guy made it clear to me that he wasn't gonna be battling me. He was gonna 
follow me in the draft and uh, just get distance on the field. And it worked out for both of us. It was a very good call. We both kind of got away from the guys behind him battling. And he made a move on the final lap, but I was able to hold him off. We finished 1 2. It was a great race. Because I avoid you under steering up the track with this. Shut the fuck up, man. It's a video game. I didn't touch you. Why are you crying? I don't know what they're yelling about, but I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm in too good a mood. Uh, but yeah, I had a great race, and it kind of reinvigorated me. I'm like, all right, that was fun. I'm ready for more racing. So I was like, hey, let's just do some ARCA. Even though it's late, let's do some ARCA. Phoenix. And so far, so good with this one, too. Now, I only won the Formula B race because I started fourth. First and second crash. And then third crashed in, like, a turn later on the first lap. And then that was left... that left me. <laughs> so, some good luck in that one. It's actually my first road race win of the season of the year uh, 2022 so that was cool did not record it because I normally don't but uh, it was a fun one maybe I should have I don't know we're gonna get some lap traffic I think yep a little nervous and uh, this thing's getting a little tighter I wonder if I should uh, bump my brake by his back any further at any point during this race. Thinking about it. Like I said, it's all the way back, but you can, of course, move it, move it further back with the in-car adjustments. And I didn't do that yet. I wasn't sure that was going to be necessary. But we'll see how it's feeling later. Now it's not too bad. I'm definitely having to slow down more for these corners. Focusing on the run off. You've just done a 29.3. A little wide there, but okay. Actually worked pretty well. McDonald behind is now 1.1. You know, 1.2 behind us, that's pretty comfortable. For now. And then uh, further back, got some pitting or something, got damage. Uh, 2.1, it looks like, third. So that's good news. All right, Colton, that's half distance. Pretty good. You're looking good for fuel. Ugh, I bogged it down too much that corner. Lost my momentum. It's a little, uh, a little less smooth with my inputs there. Not sure what I'm looking at here. That ruined my corner. It looked like he was going to go below the, uh, go onto the apron, but kind of didn't. Oh, God. Man, this thing got really tight. Well, I'm throwing this away. <laughs> Definitely feeling like I overdrew it. Go ahead and put that brake bias back, why not? That lap was at 29.7. Just gotta be a bit more patient with my uh getting back onto the gas and all that. Yeah, get it turning on the injury. And it's still sticking well enough on the exit. I'm feeling okay. That was a 29.5. The gap to McDonald behind is now 1.0. So, this isn't in the bag yet, obviously. I could uh, have way overdriven it. Might have the tires fall off a cliff. So I've got to keep 
consistent for sure. Gotta keep smooth. Turn one's gonna be key. Keeping it smooth there. Keeping momentum. Blah 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 blah. Same things I've been saying. I'm trying to exit a little lower now. Help get this thing loose on exit. So, as the car gets tighter, um, I'm going where I wouldn't dare to go earlier in the run. <laughs> lower on the track. I wouldn't go there earlier in the run because it would just get snapped loose on me. But now that I want it to turn more, I'm kind of venturing down there a little bit. You'll see it like right here, and it's getting sideways as I'm gassing it up and hopefully getting off that right front that I've probably been abusing this whole time. Your lap time was 29.6. So we still got a lot of race left to go. I'm seeing smoke once in a while, which is making me a little nervous. I kind of got a little too loose there. Interesting. That's probably just on me as as a driver, though. To get out ahead of that. <laughs> There's a lot. There must be a lot going back on beyond in the back of the pack. Are they yelling at each other still? Forgot I muted that to be honest. Fun drive though. I like this track. It's very unique. Nothing, uh, no other track quite like it as far as I know. So we got a lane. And he still has him, so he's probably drunk. Oh, we got the bottom here. under the influence driver somewhere. Damn, guess the tires did fall off, huh? Well, you just messed with me. Okay. I mean, now I gotta race him. There ain't no sense of racing him. Just faster than him, I'm gonna move over and let him go. Put two cars to board up. Sounds like people are upset at each other. Ten left! Ten to go. Uh, oh, go ahead, take it a little here, too. I'm not gonna hold you up, man. Now listen in here and what's going on in the rest of the pack. Sorry, I completely bought the corner after you picked up the I'm an idiot. Sounds like they're uh getting in each other's hey, way, yeah, stepping on each other's like, feet. Okay, well I guess uh we're playing crossover central up there. Alright, cool. <laughs> Sounds like there's lots of sarcasm. Lots of things going on. And I keep focused on hitting my marks. Sorry about that, five. I got a little tight on exit. The guy behind is now. Sounds like they're doing some side-by-side -side racing, which is good news for us. Because even if uh, I'm being bad to the tires, not having to race side by side means that. I'm just here so I don't get fined. <laughs> means that we're uh, a little bit better. That was a little bit high on entry. Can I go now? Oh, we brought it too far back, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me not spin out. That was funny. I got tight on entry. And then <laughs> loose on exit. That's kind of interesting. Keep it together now. Not too much longer to go here. Even that just like little bit of slide, like that's You're all right I can. back there, 16. You're not doing so hot. Yo, shut the fuck up, you pussy ass little bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, what's going on? What happened while well, I did it? You're the one getting up to bit, mate. 
Yeah. No, Cody, you couldn't care less, okay? If you could care less, you'd care a lot. I can't hear what that guy's so saying. It sounds like he's broadcasting from the inside well. of a bag of chips. Sounds like you're the Karen. No, it doesn't. Did your balls drop? I mean, it doesn't sound like it by your voice. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Let's go, guys. No, they didn't. Five, five to go. Sounds like someone's tires went off. Gosh, my wheel's kind of coming off, actually. You know, if you want to save yourself from utter disappointment, you can uh, hit Alt F4, and it'll give you... No, you're right. The important things are trying your best, Cody. That's important. I think 16 is very happy. The lap time was at. <laughs> Started dead last and I finished, I'm about to finish 7th. I mean, fuck. I can change that if you want me to. I bet you can. I bet you can. I mean, all I gotta do is just slow up and let you pass me. That's alright. I'll wreck your ass. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Are you gonna be like Jeff Gordon from Boyer? I think my arm's getting tired. Let me take a hard right. You're so tough, bud. Talking shit over a computer, man. Makes you a tough guy, huh? No, Cole, you're the tough one. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm just enjoying this. It's so funny. No. I'll be in Michigan tomorrow. What's up? You come to Lansing, you're gonna ask what to do, boy. Two more, let's go. Well, that's like 30 minutes away from me. Come on then. Bro, that's so wild, we have answered her. It's just a video game, guys. The gap behind is now 2.0 seconds. I'm letting Karen out, guys. Real nice work, this is the white flag lap. And I had my chat muted most of this race, I'm kind of wishing I had it live, this is funny. Oh, yeah, Come on. Are pretty consistent. It makes for great, uh, great content for YouTube. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> That's great. Oh, by the way, it's white flag. Need to get on Arca Break Weekly. Uh, I'm streaming right now, too. I've been streaming for like the past like six hours. <laughs> While well, we won the race, <laughs> and we got to get some good race, guys. Uh, good, well done, mate. uh, good racing for the top five. <laughs> hey, I want to say good racing to the 16th. Yeah, good race. Thanks, old man. Good race, man. <laughs> Nursing home's calling your name, ain't it? Yeah, good race, Roger. Good race, guys. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> Damn. He actually helped pretty quick, huh? I don't know what that was about, but that's enough. I hope the, <laughs> if you didn't mind me tuning into that, I was just pretty totally entertained. All right, doing some burnouts. We'll do our backward victory lap, Polish victory lap, Alan Kulicki style. I always enjoy it just because it's interesting to see the track from the opposite direction. <laughs> Alright, I remember when there was like a huge gap right here on the track at Phoenix. I think it was like, maybe not here, but like over around here or something. Isn't there like a huge gap that's where they got on the track or something? I don't know. I remember that in the uh, old uh, EA games or something. Alright. Well, that'll do it then. <laughs> Dent up the car after all that. <laughs> Alright. And finish last because I don't like racing that way. Yeah, that happened.
So we had a great jump. Alright guys, good race. I kind of waited for them to kind of creep up and have to let off the gas. Nothing like going from a 1700i rating up to a 2300 in about six hours. Kind of uh, watched them creep up and then uh, the moment they had to like let off the gas is when I kind of hit it. That got me a good jump. They also, maybe they might have been trying first gear too. I don't know. I really like second gear. That worked out well for me. So let's see the incidents. Maybe see what the guys were all upset about. little bit of wall there really all the way to lap 23 there we missed a lot like this wasn't this the guy that was yelling at the other dude I feel like we must have missed something there Ooh, 12 loose on exit and the nine was just in the wrong place at the wrong time so that was interesting it looks like the 12 was maybe tight on entry I don't know, actually. They just kind of like... See, I was thinking maybe they were that high on the track because they got tight on entry and had to take a higher line, but they were kind of there, and then they just got tight on exit, I guess. You know what it was, is they probably were super tight, and then they had to crank the wheel all the way left just to get it turned, and then when they hit the gas, it just kept going left. That's a bummer. That was a lap car too, I think, taking out a lead lap car. So that's extra salt in the wound for the nine. It's a tiny bit of wall on entry. I feel like we gotta be missing a lot here. The incidents aren't showing us everything. There's no way. We had those guys mad at each other. Oh, that's a bad place to barely touch the wall. That stinks. They were having a decent run too, up in eighth. And there's me. So that's all we get. Here's my doink. <laughs> so I don't know what they're yelling at each other about. I really don't. Interesting. I wonder if we can like... this guy? I believe was uh, involved in it. Unless they were just yelling at each other because of chat. Uh, they just got into each other a little there. I remember they apologized for that early on. Uh, where is the other guy? Oops. I mean, the other guy is all the way, like, back here. So they must have just made each other mad through chat or something. <laughs> Didn't actually get into each other. I don't know. People are... People are uh, testy on a Tuesday night or something. I don't know. But I guess that's it. I mean, I don't think we're going to see anything from here. So, uh, what were our tires in the end? Probably not good. 77.85. I don't have anything to compare that to, so I don't know if that's normal or not. I feel like we probably could have been better to the right front, for sure. I don't think I would have... Uh, I mean, obviously I wouldn't finish first in a top split, like, big strength of field or whatever. I don't think I would be anywhere near the front um, with how I was treating the tires, probably. But, uh, hey, pretty good. I'm very happy with that. We got where we were supposed to finish, but uh, I was glad. I'm glad I was able to pull it off, and uh, we didn't get any, any uh, into any internet fights. So that's <laughs> that's always good. No internet fights, and uh, and a gold medal. Pretty good. All right. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, that's I'm very pleased with that. Phoenix isn't always my best, so uh, to be able to pull that off feels pretty good. All right. See you next time. Appreciate it.